Now the first tip that I gave you was to use advanced properties and the reason that you should be using advanced properties with any of your uh, genealogy, family history, specialized studies, workbooks is because it's a method of helping you to identify your workbook, to make use of categories, keywords, and general information, and also to keep track of the status of your workbook. Simply put, advanced properties are metadata and you you are able to add this metadata to any workbook that you want and if you do that you're always going to be able to use the search function on your PC to help you find that workbook and there are a variety of ways of doing it. Now I wanted to show you what using the advanced document properties looks like. I have advanced document properties on my quick access toolbar and as you can see the quick access toolbar runs along the top of the Excel workbook and it starts out with save undo and redo and those are the commands that Excel gives you as uh, defaults but you can add any other ones that you want and the first one that I added was advanced properties because that's something I use and as you can see here once you click on advanced document properties the summary opens up and you can insert and then later see the title, the subject, the author. Uh, if you are working for a company or organization, you could include that. The categories are there, the keywords, and keep in mind that keywords are simply metadata, little breadcrumbs so you can help find something you're looking for, and any of the comments that you want to add. Now I also click the box that says save thumbnails for all Excel documents so I can take a look and see what my Excel uh, workbook looks like. Once you've added and entered that information and in this instance I've entered Scotland, Census, Keo, and ONS for one name study. Then if I ever wanted to go back and find it and I didn't know where I had filed that workbook or maybe I had moved from one computer to another which is something I recently did, I could easily just put that information, any one of those pieces, into my search function and it would bring up this workbook as one of my choices. That's advanced document properties. And what I pointed out about advanced properties is this quick access toolbar runs all the way across here, as you can see. I'm just going to make this a little taller. And as I pointed out, we always have save, we have undo, which is very important, and redo. If I wanted to undo something I'd done here, it would also give me the possibility to put it back on. And that's a useful thing when you're first playing around. This is advanced properties. I have already added advanced document properties to my quick access toolbar. And I just want to click on it so you can see that that's exactly what it looked like when we were talking about fun with Excel and putting a subject, your author, anything that you wanted to put in here, you could. I also wanted to point out that this gives you your information of where it's located, the size of your document. This gives you some statistics and the thing that I like is this contents. You can always find the sheets that you've added right in here and then if you had any custom items that you wanted to add. I haven't done this with my Excel workbooks uh, for genealogy, but I have done it with work-related ones. That gives you an idea of what we're talking about when I mention advanced document properties. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about the Quick Access Toolbar, and I mentioned this in our session, but anytime you have these triangles, and you'll see them here, and you see this one right here, Keep in mind that if you click on that, and just feel free to click around anywhere on Excel, you're not going to break it. This gives you the opportunity to add additional items, and these are some of the ones that Excel thinks are the most popular ones to add to a quick access toolbar. So you can add any of those. Maybe you want to always add spelling on here so you don't have to look for it on your ribbon. But you can also go down to More Commands. And if you do that, it opens up Excel options. And there's always a couple way to get to Excel options, but this is one of the easiest ones. And now we're at Quick Access Toolbar. We talked about this in the session, but you have popular commands here. And these are also commands that Excel thinks are the most useful to you. I always open up all commands 
or commands not on the ribbon because a lot of times this is the type of command that I'm looking for. So if we click on all commands, we would scroll down and keep in mind that the um, numbers are going to show up before the alphabetical listing. But then we would have advanced document properties and you could add it. You could also add uh, anything else that was important to you. Maybe you wanted to, maybe you wanted to add column headers. It would be a simple matter of clicking on column headers, adding it, and then moving it around with the arrows up or down depending on where you want it. Since this is not something I want to add, I'm going to remove it. I'd already added advanced document properties. So that's one way to add anything to your quick access toolbar. You can add any number of things to your quick access toolbar, but probably keep it lean to maybe a dozen or fewer things that you use on a regular basis. If that's an easy way for you to work, that is great. If you add more than maybe 8, 10, or 12, it kind of loses that whole quick access idea. So this is one of those things that you can do to add any of the functions that you use regularly. And I'm just going to show you here why this is open. I have, this is the advanced document properties. I have copy and this one here would be paste and transpose. I also use cut and paste and I use delete rows because a lot of times when I've cleaned something up I'm going to have empty rows and that's a real easy way to delete your rows. One of the other things that I include is comment section. So if I include that comment feature, I'm able to just quickly click on that and add a comment to a cell. So those are things to play with and I've also shown you what that looks like. Once you've added any of the features or functions that you want, you simply click OK. I've shown you what it looks like, I've told you what I've added and why, and I've also provided you with what my quick access toolbar looks like when I haven't cleaned it up for us to play with today as well as a couple of tips for you and I've shown you what this looks like. Now one thing I wanted to point out why we're here is that you can insert a picture and what I did was just took a screen capture of Excel options so you could see what it looked like and then you can insert that picture into your Excel workbook that's kind of a little something extra for you. So when you're playing with setting up your workbooks and you want to show how you've done something on your instruction sheet, think about adding the picture of, or screen capture of what you did. Add the screen capture of what you want it to look like. The other thing that you can do, and this is something I do to kind of make things stand out, I will insert a text box and I'll color it and then I'll type whatever my instructions are. I can move this around wherever I need to, just like I can move this screen capture. But this way, I have a real easy way to see what it is I'm talking about. So keep those kinds of extras in mind, because I think it helps you understand that Excel does more than just take down that information that you want to put in your cells. It's a great database, but it's also a really good workbook to use to incorporate the things you're doing and why you're doing them. So that's advanced properties and if you click on to example one the steps I show you how to reach advanced properties from the file menu and then you also know that you can reach it from your quick access toolbar. So if we were to go to file you see all of your information about this particular workbook and you also realize that you can go down to options and it will bring up all of your Excel options. So if you wanted to determine the size font that you always want to use in your Excel workbooks or how many sheets you want on your Excel workbook when it opens up, that information is right there. If you wanted to uh, save, the default is 10 minutes. I have changed mine to 5 because I don't want to lose any information. And it also tells you where your auto recover files are. If you wanted to customize the ribbons, you can make changes to any of these ribbons that you want and you can make changes to your quick access toolbar. One of the easiest changes to make and something that a lot of people do is they click on the quick access toolbar and they show their quick access toolbar below the ribbon. And the reason you might want to do that is it's closer to your work area.
So this is just a personal preference. Wherever you want that quick access toolbar to go, you can simply move it. So that takes care of our tip or example one.